We have to ask you some questions that we ask okay. everybody. Okay. You ready? Are you ready for this? Ready. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> it's not. We always say oh, there. This is zero pressure. Yeah. No, zero pressure. Just if you can think of an answer, let us know. Okay. What's your favorite movie genre? Hmm. We were just talking about Christmas genre, but. I know. <laughs> I'm probably going to like just go with a rom-com. I really love it because I have my husband and my two boys and I'm the only, and a male dog at home. Um, there's no other estrogen in the house but me. So I always, <laughs> whenever I'm alone, I'm like, okay, rom-com. Favorite nobody one. Nobody else will watch it with me. Oh goodness. I don't have a favorite. Um, Is there one I that did you will like, turn off if it comes on? Probably The Notebook. Oh, I just, classic. oh my God. But wait, yeah, that's I, not a rom com. No, it's not really. That's it's just a romantic. That's just a rom. rom. <laughs> okay, it's just a rom. Romance. Okay. She's into romance. So like romance. Probably something with like Reese Witherspoon's. Like, oh yeah, like, of course. Oh, yeah. Like a Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Or, oh, like, everybody I love loves that. that. Right? Is that but, everybody's favorite Reese movie? I feel like. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's exactly. a go-to. Everybody dreams of walking into Tiffany and being like, "Choose one." <laughs> <Don't> right. <laughs> oh, um, what's your go-to app for like a long flight or a wait at the doctor's office? Instagram. Oh, oh you're a I don't, scroller. I we am should a have scroller. Known. I don't play games. I don't. I don't do any of that. You so it's looking at pretty pictures. I love I it Instagram. too. The what's mind, your favorite like, Instagram? Like, what's your favorite account to follow right now? Is there somebody like? There's the folding lady I keep talking about. I love, love her. her. She's reached out to me now. <laughs> really? <laughs> she, the folding lady fascinates me. Like, she'll do clothing teach you, or oh, anything. Wrapping? A sheet wrapping. She'll do like um, how to do a fun napkin. For like, I think she just did a bow tie napkin recently that I was like, I got to use that at a party sometime. But like any, like, yeah, she folds everything. It's kind of fun. That's great. It's also a little frustrating because I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I listen. I, and I'm not going to name names, but I, I, I listen to a lot or I, I listen to or scroll or watch a lot of politics on Instagram, Ah. but I can't public. I don't. Uh, it's not that I can't. I choose not to publicly talk about that mm-hmm. because it becomes so divisive. Well, you yeah. were on The View and but you had yes. a taste of that. I actually <laughs> oh, almost, I really wanted to be on The learned. View. This is where I really wanted to be on The View. And I saw you get on there. I was like, oh, I could have been, the, <laughs> I could have done that. But then I I, I quickly switched gears when I, I did a few episodes after you left. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I was like, oh, it's, that's tough. It's that's really a tough hard. space. Yeah, it is. But I... Yeah, I listen to a lot of people um, on both sides of of everything. So yeah, it's good. It's nice to diversify. Yeah. Um, do you have a TV villain that you love to hate? Yes. Ooh. So I love Christine from Selling Sunset. Have <gasps> you ever? <laughs> seen it? Oh my gosh! Okay, yes, no one has said I, that one yet. <laughs> but that is so good. <laughs> Okay, I do not like reality television. I do not watch it. I've never oh, seen a Housewives it. in my life. I never. I don't watch The Bachelor. I don't watch any of that stuff. And my daughter was like, "Mom, I promise you, you're gonna like Selling Sunset. You just will because it's real estate. Like it you'll, yeah. you're gonna like it." So I'm like, oh, "Whatever. Okay, fine." Totally got hooked into it. <laughs> Love it. And then Christine is like. She is bonkers in the best of ways. <laughs> She's bananas so is we... over the top, ridiculous. Yeah. And I love She's watching the car accident. You can't take your minute. eyes off. Yes. And you can't tell, like, does she really not know? Like, or does she just not care? She drives she up in her yellow Lamborghini and her like seven inch Louboutins like can barely walk because they're so her high life. and it's, <laughs> it's her, like as she shows a $15 million home. It's so <laughs> it's nuts. So and I love it. I oh, love that's it. Great. And that's she's a like one. a fun, she's a fun villain to watch because you get those moments of heart from her. Oh. So you're like, oh, you are, you are a human being. Oh, I feel bad for you for a second. Well, maybe you're turning a corner and then she no, comes you're not. back out. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love it. <laughs> That's such a good one. Oh my gosh. Um, is there a favorite workout song? Like one that just gets really pumped up. Or do you have a playlist? No. Um, <laughs> I don't have a playlist. I... I don't listen to a lot of music when I work out. Oh, really? I really? Because I, I'm not like a machine person. So I feel like that's when uh, I would probably put headphones in. And if I do, I'm going to listen to a podcast yeah. okay. or a book on tape or something. So I don't do a lot of music. Is there a TV show you gave up on? I gave up on Jane the Virgin. Oh, okay. Oh, and I loved it. The first season was great. So do you want to get back to it? Is it one of those like no, in the continue? I let it go. I yeah. let it go. I don't even know how many seasons there were, but I feel like... 
the first couple of seasons were good. And then it was either the third or fourth that- They just lost you. They lost me because the the boyfriend or husband had died. And they, and and it was a weird season. Oh. And they just totally lost me. And then my daughter was like, no, mom, just start back up the next season. It gets good again. But I just couldn't do it. Uh, I was like, mm. I hate that when like a show gives up on you, I feel like. Yeah. Um, is there a book you suggest everybody read once? There is. Okay. I have got the book for you. It is literally the all-time bestseller. Oh. It is, it is a book that has historical events. It has letters. It has poetry. It even has prophecy. Oh, can I guess? It is the greatest love story <laughs> of all mankind. <laughs> it is called... The Holy Bible. The Bible. Yeah. Yay. Yep. It's what a great way. It, it's available on QVC <laughs> or at dayspring.com or anywhere or on any an app. Hotel you room, any hotel room, dresser room, drawer. An app, you can get it all, all oh, for free. But Bible I recommend gateway. everyone read, read the Holy I'm Bible. I have a favorite way of like ingesting scripture. I know some people have like a, you know, I read I have a friend who does a certain it. amount every day or they there's programs. I have a friend who like it. listens to it while running and like Patricia Heaton loves the Tim Keller podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's actually a podcast I'll tell you about because this helps me with my daily scripture reading um, as I'm reading through the Bible, and it's called The Bible Recap oh. by Tara Lee Cobble. Oh, I love Tara Lee. Yeah, Tara Lee's great. We go way back. I oh, love her. that's awesome. So I listen to her podcast, but it helps me. It div divvies up it, um, the Bible to read it chronologically. Okay. And so it gives you your reading you program it. for yeah, every day. Yeah, I haven't heard of this. And then she does like a seven to eight minute recap on what you've read. That's what the podcast is. Okay. So it is wonderful. I love her. She but kind of trailblazed the whole like making scripture digestible. Uh, yes. Like D groups, like discipleship yes. groups and things like that. Like she, I mean, it's pretty amazing the way she's made scripture and accountability and fellowship just like so oh, easy. Wow. I'll have to yeah. check this out. And by the way, that's the best description of the Bible I think I've ever heard. I know. That Thank was like you. an amazing, amazing. Yeah, I want to, I, because I think that people who haven't read the Bible, if they're just like, I'm not religious or that's not my religion. It is literally like the most fantastic book you'll ever read yeah. because even depending if you're not reading it through a lens that maybe is a spirit filled lens, the historical events alone in yeah. it are just unbelievable. And and there's like crazy stuff that yeah. you can't even imagine. You're like, I don't even think that some of the best fiction writers could come up with what has happened in the Bible. So if there was one book from the Bible that you would suggest, like I think mine would probably be Esther. Like what would, what love somewhere you Esther. would start with, like tell people to go to? I mean, I love the book of Esther for very different reasons. But if I told someone if they were going to pick up the Bible only once and there was one book to read, I'd tell them to read John, oh, which is really? one of the four gospels yeah. because I want them to know the story of Jesus, the story of Jesus okay. and what he's done for all of mankind, yeah. which is the greatest love story because he, he, he died and paid the penalty for all of our sins. So we could be justified before God mm. when we all stand before him on judgment day, when we die. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, I will Stop preaching my sermon now. No, oh, I love have it. To. And your children. I love Jesus. That's what I'm passionate and yes. about. And your children have that love too, I've seen. And like their testimony they that they give in public and they're yeah. beautiful, beautiful examples. Um, what is a show that you like to watch as a couple? Is there something that like the, that you can't watch without him? You have to wait. So so Val doesn't like watching television TV other than the cooking channel and sports. Oh. <laughs> That's it. All right. But we watched one together during the pandemic because I was like, babe, we got to find something to watch together because otherwise he goes to the room. Yeah. Like the bedroom, yeah. I stay out in the living room. And then I'm like, then we're not spending a couple hours together. Yeah. So we watched the first season of Ted Lasso together. Oh, yes. And we both really liked Good. it. The yeah. only person so, I've met that doesn't like Ted Lasso is Patricia Heaton. <laughs> I know. I'm so floored by that. It's but such everybody, a positive, love yes, show. we really enjoyed the first season. But then Val started. He, I was so bummed out. He started watching the second season of oh, Ted Lasso without, without me you. because I was out of town. I know. But he was like, nope. There's too much cursing in the second season, oh, so 
he um and we don't we don't we're not big on cursing my husband hates that but he did get through ted lasso because he did the thing is he won't mark won't watch anything where there's an uh, a a non-redeemable character Mm -hmm. and he feels like in that everybody is lovable and everybody Mm -hmm. has good qualities even though they show bad sides of themselves sometimes yeah he really was along for that ride even though the language is is rough but i try to chuck it up a little bit too like the british use those some of the words that we don't use. I'm with you. The language, I think because of the industry that we work in, although you would think like hockey players would have a pretty right? substantial <laughs> endurance for, for cursing. But I mean, I personally don't yeah. use that language, but it doesn't bother me if that's what people See, I'm like a dirty use. sailor. I, I, I'm a, I'm yeah, a, I'm a, I'm a filthy. But you're yeah. not that. I'm like bad. a dirty pirate. Um, I can be, I just choose to refrain myself on podcasts and around you. <laughs> oh, it's just me. Well, I appreciate that. And I don't, res- I don't yeah. restrain myself that much. But yeah, I think growing up in this industry too, I've been, yeah. I, it, like but, if I'm on set, it takes, I have to like, I have to wean myself. Like there's a lot of uh, lengths that I've gone through where I've given up cursing mm. because. That's a it, good one to give up. It's a, Well, and it's it was really such good. a hard thing to do. Like, how do I, what do I do if I do curse? So I, I started doing five, five hour fathers every time I would curse. So then by the end of the day, I'd have like 25, 30 hour fathers to do. And doing that, you'll be like, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to mm. do that anymore. I'm going to watch yeah. what I say. And it kind of teaches you, trains you to like right. behave. Right. Um, what about a, do you have a favorite radio station? This is like an odd question because people don't really listen to the radio anymore, but do you have a. Does it have to be, can it be on Sirius XM? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my favorite station is The Message mm. on Sirius XM, which is top 40 Christian radio, which is why I didn't think like a lot of people might not know my top workout songs because I just listen. I, think, I just like I music. I a lot of Christian feel, music. I think okay. a lot of people do. It, I mean, there's such, I mean, they're, Grammy award winning artists right. there. Yeah. It's amazing music, but I really like positive, encouraging music. So even when I'm working out, I, I just want to working out for the glory of God. So to hear him and doing it for him gets me pumped up more than anything. Like that drives me to my performance is my performance for him. Wow. So I like to listen to Christian music yeah. that is just fueling that. So my who's favorite your is favorite? Lighthouse. You know, oh, yeah. Lighthouse. I just love that song makes me cry. I love it's that song. song. I don't know many Christian songs, but that's that one gets. I start listening to the message. I know I it's will. So good. So it's all music. Yeah, the message okay. is all music. Okay. It's all top forty Christian. Very cool. Because I know the and book, like for the King message. and Country. I mean, you hear a lot of people, even Lauren Daigle. Like they're all yeah. Christian artists that are on Newsboy. Newsboys. Yep. Um, they're they're on contemporary regular yeah. uh, stations too, but they're all Christian artists. So very cool. All right, I'm gonna check that out. Um, is there a movie you've walked out of or shut off? I can't remember a movie, but I will tell you that I've walked out of I've walked out of three Broadway shows. Oh, really? <laughs> you want to really? say which ones? Maybe or no? I shouldn't say this. Well, I'll, I don't, I'm I'm not ashamed. I walked out of the Book of Mormon. Okay. I'm not Mormon, but. I think it was the, it's either the second song or the third song. And it was like, F you God. Oh. And I couldn't handle it. Like my, I really couldn't handle it. And I heard that it was redeeming at the end of it. Yeah. And who I was with were like, just hang in there because someone had saw it. And I just, I couldn't, it upset my, my spirit so much. And I was like, I just need to leave. I'll meet you guys for dinner. I'm not mad. I'm totally cool. Uh. I'm just going to go out to the car. So I did leave that one. I left Spring Awakening. Did you guys oh, yeah, see yeah. that? Just I didn't a, see it, but I know about it. I was a little uncomfortable with the young sex, and I was with a girlfriend. Lots of that, it, Yeah, and I was just like- A little Bridgerton? I'm good. Well, we, it, but it's on stage. It's like real life. Yeah. It's, yeah, it was a little awkward. So we looked at each other during the intermission, and I was like, what do you want to do? She's like, I want to leave. And I was like, cool, me too. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked out of Jagged Little Pill, which I was so bummed. I, you know, it's been so long since I've seen a Broadway show. I need to. So I that's a, a recent trip. one, and it's gotten like it's like critically acclaimed. But that's is all it about Alanis Morissette? Morissette. Okay. It's all her music. Okay. Um, I think I love that album too much that they didn't do it. Justice that it for didn't. Me. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, Meh. turning it into Broadway music might be a little. I could I walked see out of that the being Sponge jarring. Bob musical. So I mean, I walked oh, out of Elf. I'm not judging. <laughs> I walked out of Elf the musical, but that's mainly because my children would not sit still, and it was oh. one of them was screaming. It was horrifying. I heard SpongeBob was great though. Why it's, did you walk out of it? I it, it was just like 
super cheese. And, oh, okay. And we we weren't with our kids. We were just oh, like season that, that ticket holders. <laughs> and so we were like, oh, well, it's a it's an excuse for a date night. You know, we've we've got the season tickets. We'll just Bye. go. We've never not enjoyed a you know performance. So we got there and we were like halfway through, and both of us were just like. And honestly, it's kind of weirdly political. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like, and I mean, whatever. It's fine. It goes over kids' heads. I don't <laughs> care. But it was just kind of like, oh, this kind of just isn't oh, worth it. the That's time. Like, uh, yeah. Cars two got a little political about the gas. Oh, I still love cars. industry. <laughs> cars I adore, but Cars two got a little political. I thought. Um, okay, is there a book that you've read more than once? I know the Bible. The oh. Bible. <laughs> Trying to think, I don't know that I've read any books more than once. Mm. I don't think I. I think Catcher in the Rye might be the only one I have, but I, I read a lot because I like to read a lot. Times. I want to keep reading new books. Exactly, I do too. But some of them you need to you read fast, though. You're I know. Not fair. Yeah, she I'm a slow reader. And then, do you feel this way? Because I read so many scripts, mm -hmm. so many scripts that I'm like, I don't want to read. Lot. That's why yeah. even when I travel, if I have to pick one book, I bring my Bible with me because yeah. I don't want to. I'm gonna read my Bible. And you get you like podcasts, and audio books. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're busy. You're busy. Um, was there a show that you loved to watch with your kids when they were little? Like, is there a show that you would sit down and actually watch with them? You know what I loved was Bear in the Big Blue House. Oh, yeah. that was the, actually, that's the, the same creator as my show, Clarissa Explains Really? It yeah. I loved that show with my, I think I would get more excited watching that show than my kids did. I and I just, about Daniel oh, I should have given you my coat. <laughs> All my years on Sabrina, my little warm up jacket on set was a little fleece that said Bear in the Big Blue House <gasps> on it. Because oh! the showrunner gave it to me and it was so oh, cozy. Oh, I love that. That was my warm up. Yeah. And they were like, good night, Luna. Oh, like I just loved that. 